Global warming is one of the biggest challenges facing humanity. There is a critical need to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions, to avoid irreparable damage to our planet and all who live on it. The scientific principles behind climate change, caused by greenhouse gases, have been understood since the late 19th century, but their effects are becoming more and more obvious. The Earth's atmosphere is transparent to sunlight, that warms the Earth, but much less transparent to the infrared radiation that the Earth emits in response, leading to a build-up of heat, or warming. The 19th century physicist, John Tyndall from Carlo, established as far back as 1864 that carbon dioxide, CO2, and methane trapped infrared radiation. Therefore, these gases contribute to the warming or greenhouse effect. The energy sector is a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, and while it has made much progress in reducing its emissions, it is both a responsibility and an opportunity to be part of the solution. This short animation explores the scale of the challenge facing Ireland and the part ESB is playing in leading the transition towards a low carbon and brighter future. In the EU, greenhouse gas emissions are divided into two sectors. The first sector covers carbon emissions that typically come from electricity generation stations, industrial plants and aviation. In Ireland, these make up approximately 29% of our total greenhouse gas emissions with electricity generation making up 20% of overall emissions. These emissions form part of an EU-wide emissions trading scheme, ETS. Under this scheme, one credit must be purchased for every tonne of CO2 emitted by EU power generators. These credits are purchased on an EU-wide market. The EU aims to progressively reduce carbon emissions by reducing the number of credits available for purchase each year leading to an increase in their cost and making the plants that emit more CO2 less competitive compared to more carbon efficient generators. Over time, this will lead to the phasing out of old and inefficient carbon emitters that fall under the scheme. In Ireland, we have halved the intensity of carbon from electricity generation since 1990. Through a combination of replacing old inefficient generating units with more efficient plant and a significant switch from oil to gas and to renewables like wind. This trend is expected to continue as more renewable generation comes on stream. All other Irish greenhouse gas emissions sit outside the ETS scheme and are referred to as non-ETS emissions. Agriculture makes up 33% of total emissions, mainly methane from livestock and manure, and nitrous oxide from fertilizers and animal waste. Historically, Ireland has always had a very strong agriculture sector and has contributed significantly to our economic success. Reducing emissions from the sector is a significant challenge since few techniques are yet available. The national herd is over 6 million animals and the sector is currently growing. Transport makes up 20% of total emissions, mainly due to the dominance of oil in private cars and light and heavy goods vehicles. Emissions from this sector have been rising steadily over the last number of years and are forecasted to continue to grow. CO2 emissions from heating our houses and businesses accounts for 20% of Ireland's total emissions. With a large rural population, oil is a major heating fuel for heating in Ireland, unlike other EU member states. The EU has agreed a range of complex directives, targets and significant penalties in both the ETS and non-ETS sectors across the EU to address the issue of global warming from greenhouse gases. In Ireland we currently face particular challenges to meet our targets due to our large agriculture sector and our oil-dominated car fleet and heating systems. Without action, this would be exacerbated in the future through population growth and an increase in our car and housing stock. And while electricity generation is 20% of the problem, there is an opportunity to transition to being more than 50% of the solution for Ireland. Since electricity has proven easier to produce cleanly and we have highly efficient electric technologies available today, most studies of the transition to a low carbon energy system find that we need to substitute a large amount of the fossil fuels used for heat and transport with electricity. This means transitioning from fossil fuel cars to electric cars and heating our houses with low carbon and renewable alternatives. Check out seai.ie.
for information on a range of grants to help towards becoming more energy efficient. ESB is working hard to support this transition in Ireland by developing smart customer solutions, switching to green generation and developing smart electricity networks that can support electric heating and electric vehicle charging. For more information go to esb.ie forward slash brighter future.